What's up, party people? Just wanted to clarify a little bit of what's going on in this clip. This came from my dash cam, and we were headed to Wilmington uh, for my dad's eye appointment. And this gentleman was towing a car in front of us, and he was just oblivious to his surroundings. I think he had on headphones as well. But the car that he was towing had a flat tire, and it was scraping the road. There's literally sparks coming off from underneath this car. And as he went over the overpass, the car scraped really badly. An exhaust tip flew off the car and just plastered the front of my van. So um, thank goodness it didn't do any major damage and it didn't go through anybody else's windshield or through my windshield. So be careful out there, folks. All right, party people, welcome back. So I had a few days off, took my dad to some, uh, some eye appointments, spent some time with him. So I'm back at it today, and what I want to really try to do is actually get the bed panels fit in the car. So I've got um, a space of about, not quite a queen bed, but uh, definitely a queen bed width-wise and about 75 and a half inches lengthwise, which is probably four and a half inches short of an 80 inch queen bed. So what I want to do today is create three separate panels that I can actually lift and take out. Uh, and those panels are going to be made by this 2x2. Two two. Um, I think I'll have a 2x2 two two frame around and then have a 2x2 two two slat in the middle. And each one of those will be roughly 25 and uh, probably, you know, a quarter inches. And then we'll make the probably the, the last one or the one toward the front maybe a little bit longer uh, than the one in the rear um, because I'll probably be moving the... the the pieces in the rear a little bit more often. I doubt this is going to be my final solution, but this is going to be a temporary solution where I can get the bed in the vehicle and start marking out the layout for the floor. I've got all my batteries and charger equipment in, so I'm ready to start wiring all that stuff up. So I want to get this done so I can kind of start laying out where I'm going to put the fridge, the sink, and all that kind of stuff and uh, move forward. So let's get to it. needs to be. Twenty and three quarters exactly. Right, twenty and three quarters. So let's go make one twenty and three quarters. Let's see how the final piece fits. Perfecto. So I just need to uh, got to cover these in plywood and then give it a test and make sure they're sturdy enough. And I've got to put a couple extra screws in the end and uh, clip that one off. So let me do that. Uh, let's give this thing a test fit. So, this is the last panel. Get that out of the way. I may be up too high. If I'm up too high, then I will have to uh, screw a rail system into the uh, two by fours and drop it some. Let's see if we can get this in here. And three. Right. So that's the top of the bed platform. I'm not sure if it's too high or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get the, uh, I'm going to blow this off with the air compressor and then I'm going to go get the mattress because the mattress is about six inches and it'll probably compress to two inches. So it'll be a little bit more than two inches high. 
and uh, I'm definitely going to need a step stool to get in there. So let me give it a test. All right, let's open this mattress and see what it looks like. have a bed Ooh. and you can tell that uh, you know obviously I sacrificed some uh, head space for some garage space so I don't know I might lower it down another inch or so um, I could easily put rails inside the uh, 2 by 4 and screw those to the wall and then cut the platform short and sit it in between the 2 by 4s and that would give me another uh, probably one and a half inches, but for right now, I just crawled up there. Seems fine to me, even with pillows. So, uh, we'll see how it works and see how, uh, it fits with the bikes in here. I went and, uh, added some, uh, basically some slots for your hands to actually manage these wider, uh, platform pieces here. So they help you remove them and help you uh, tote them as well, especially if you don't have a long wingspan. Um, I added this cleat in front. A piece of hardwood here is just held up by two screws. Really the only thing it's doing is to keep all of this from sliding out toward the front. All right, party people, that'll do it for this video. If you like the content, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below if you're building a van like this. Let me know what I'm doing wrong here. Also, click that post notification bell. You get notified of all new uploads. Till next time, skill up and ride, van up and go.